that you talk as if there was no 2015. 2015, the economy grew at 2.1%. At the first half of the year, the, this economy that they say is collapsed, when the economy is collapsed, and we would look at it from the growth I mean, perspective, when the economy grows negatively for appreciable length of time, that's where we use set words. But when we have not even grown negatively, people say we are collapsed. Now, if you are calling this economy collapse, economy that at, at the first half quarter of the uh, year, it grew at 4.2%. Second quarter, it grew at 3.2%. And so, averagely, that gives you about 3.75, isn't it? Yes, correct. But uh, 2015, the economy grew 2.1%. And so, if you, 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 you don't look at that as collapse, and you rather want to refer to the average economy growing at 3.75 as collapse economy, then I have a problem with you. You know, uh, in 2015, there was no global crisis. There wasn't. And yet the economy grew at 2.1%. That's abysmal. Very, very I mean, abysmal. You know, 20, 2016, that it even did well, it was 3.4. It was 3.4. And so you, you go and look at Ronaldo's growth rate, 6.5, 6.5. You know, uh, I, I don't want, I don't give 2017 growth rate to Nanado. Mm -hmm. You know why? No. Because of the um, oil. It was oil inspired. Because you see, uh, even if Nanado had not won, and President Mahama had won, 2017, the growth would have been higher. Okay. That's because, uh, yeah, we have got, we ended the growth rate with 3.4. Mm -hmm. You know, and so that, anytime I'm, I'm talking about 2017, uh, the non-oil sector grew at 4.9%. Mm. So I, when I'm looking at Nanado in 2017, I look at non-oil sector. Mm -hmm. You know, because that indeed was the actual growth mm -hmm. without the oil. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's the same story I always want to tell people. And when you say it, hey, uh, Kufo uh, discovered oil in commercial quantity somewhere 2007. Mm -hmm. And even people said that it was Adongo, whatever. But at the end of the day, we have to start production of oil. And when, because we've never produced oil before, and we have to start it, it, became, it, 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 it was a huge mm -hmm. component of our GDP. And so that year, the oil, the mining and quarrying subsector grew over 200%, 208%. Uh -huh. That was not normal. Mm -hmm. That was not normal. No, totally. The industrial sector grew over 40%. That was not normal because the industrial sector is where we have the mining and you know, quarrying, where the oil sector is. Mm -hmm. So if you see these figures, it is clear that it, uh, that growth was oil in part, and we grew over 14%. That have been the highest in our economic history. You know, and so the same way, I wouldn't say that it was because of any effort of that government that year, 2011, that's why we got that growth. I will also say the same thing, that 2017 growth was oil inspired, and it wasn't an adult growth. But um, you push... When, uh, from 2018, look at the other sectors, telecommunication, look at the uh, agricultural sector. That was uh, almost dying because at that present, Mahama 2014, as I said, agricultural sector grew 0.9%. Mm. We were going zero without our agric. You know, but that one... The yeah. IMF figures put a negative. A negative uh, goal yeah, some of, some, some, some for, of, the, uh, for agriculture sector. Some of the... Uh, yeah. Under President Mahama, under yeah. Yeah. equity. Yeah. 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 And, and so we were not doing well at all. But uh, that one, you, do you, you don't blame him so much because Ghanaian, the agricultural sector is generally rain fed. Mm -hmm. And so those years under President Mahama, maybe one of the reasons why he also didn't do very well, it didn't rain much. Mm -hmm. Like even today, today it, 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 it was, uh, I think, drizzling, if I should put it this way. Mm -hmm. So in December, we are still experiencing, you know, it's still raining. So under and now it has rained so well. I wouldn't say he's the one who brought it. But under President Muhammad, we were not seeing that much. And that even affected Akusumbu. Akusumbu nearly dried. And that's why, we, that's why we had the doom so doom so and all those things. You know, so agriculture sector nearly died. You know, a plantain sellers. We're going to Cote d'Ivoire to buy plantain to come and sell in Ghana. Mm. Maize, we were importing maize. Do they go to Tetiman? Market and see. They, the they, they don't even have food is in abundance everywhere you go. My village there might go and see food. Everywhere there is food. But the problem is uh, the structure. Our public transport system is so bad, so weak. You know? And so it doesn't matter how much food you have somewhere there, ma. It doesn't get to Accra, or it gets to Accra at a very exorbitant, you know, people who have to transport, who have to pay so much, so before they get here, uh, we can buy. And that's part of the reason why. But we, we shouldn't forget that whatever you want to buy, you can get it. 
in whatever quant uh, quantity you will get it. The Maybe only the challenge price. is that, yeah, and, and that is structural. Going forward, we need to work very hard on the railway system and all that. I've been. And so when I, I mean, I recently uh, went to, uh, I was a team leader for Ghana, uh, uh, Ghana National Household, I mean, registry. I was a team leader for that reason, OT and Volta region. And when I was crossing uh, Volta and I saw Nanado, uh, also, uh, you know, Nanado has been able to push I mean, really, like, across the voter. And well, so then Pakadan, I've seen it. Exactly. Yeah. It's so beautiful. beautiful. It's very beautiful. We need, we need to uh, do more of those things. So the train and all those things, I mean, if you go to Germany, tram, mm -hmm. almost every minute is passing by. That's what we don't have. These are structural problems that you cannot use a day to address it. But we need to.